Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice math problem and we'll find all the solutions to this problem. Here we can write this as x raised to power 6 equals to 64 here. So we're written as 2 raised to power 6. And this 2 multiply itself 6 times. Then let's take it to this side. Then we have x raised to power 6 minus 2 raised to power 6 equals to zero from here then also here we can rewrite six as three times two so we have x raised to power three then raised to power two also here we have two raised to power three then raised to power two which is equals to zero from here then here this follows from power square that is a square minus b square same thing as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then from here, a is having as s raised to power 3, b is having as 2 raised to power 3. Then this gives us a raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3. Then multiply by x raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3. Close bracket, now equals to. 0 from here. That is, here we have two possible cases. The first one we have x raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0. And the second one here we have x raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here. Now, here on this side, this follows sum of two cases. That is, one we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3. Here we can write it as a plus b. Then into bracket a square minus ab plus b square. Close bracket. Now here a is x and b is 2. Then what we have now implies x plus 2. Then into bracket here we have x square minus 2x now, then plus 2 square, close bracket, now equals to 0 from there. That is here, we can write it as x plus 2, close bracket, then into bracket x square minus 2x plus 4, then equals to 0 from here. And also on this side, also we have difference of two key. So we have a key minus b key. And here this can be written as a minus b into bracket. We have a square plus a b plus b square close bracket. Then when we apply to what we have here, this becomes x minus 2 then into bracket we have x square plus 2x then plus 2 square close bracket now equals to 0 from there that is here is also the same thing as x minus 2 into bracket here we have x square plus 2x plus now equals to 0 from here. Now, we have two possible cases here. That is, we have x plus 2 equals to 0. Or we have from here x square minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 from here. Which implies here we have x equals to minus 2. Then, on this side, we can solve using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now, here a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is 4. So, when we solve, imply we have here x. We then be 
equals to minus minus to plus or minus square root of minus two square then minus four times one times four close bracket then over two times one and here this same thing as x equals to two plus or minus square root of two minus two square four then minus here four times four that's sixteen then over two which gives us x equals to two plus or minus square root of minus twelve over two and here root minus twelve we can write it as root here four times three times minus one and here root four is two then we have root three and root minus one is i so minus root twelve here is two three i so here we now have this to be the same thing as x equals to two plus or minus two root three i then over two and from here two is common here so two we cancel each of this and this will become x equals to one plus or minus root three i so we have two other solutions from here which are complex solutions now here also on this side when we solve from here this give us two cases as well we have x minus 2 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 from here so on this side we have x to be equals to 2 then we take minus 2 here so we have also a resolution here then when we saw from here also using this formula that is the quadratic formula to solve this and in this case a is 1 b is 2 and c is 4 so it implies that we have on this side x will now be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 4 then over 2 times 1 and which implies that we have x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of here we have 4 minus 16 over 2 which also give us x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root minus 12 over 2 and which also be done x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 3i over 2 and also when you know 2 divide each of these so it implies that we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i so which also we have other two complex solutions from here so all together now we have six solutions here two resolution we have x equals to 2 x equals to minus 2 so we have two complex solution here one plus or minus root 3 i and also two complex solution here so we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 3 i so thank you for watching don't forget please to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up if you have other ways to solve this put it in the comment section see you next class bye for now